Delegates of the FARC's conference have given their unanimous support for the final peace accord. With these words, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC, announced it had approved a peace deal with the government, taking Colombia a step closer to ending one of the world's longest-running civil wars. Over 200 delegates of the FARC voted to lay down their arms and transition from an armed insurgency to a political party at the group's 10th general conference. Just like at our first conference, we took the decision to take up arms. Now in our 10th, we're putting the guns down and we're taking the political path. This will never be forgotten by history. Now the FARC's leadership and the Colombian president will sign the peace deal. The FARC will then enter into protected areas which will be verified by the United Nations and begin the process of disarming. The vote caps off a week of parties and concerts, reflecting a sense of optimism among guerrillas that peace is near. About a thousand guests and journalists mingled with more than a thousand guerrillas. FARC guerrillas say they're looking forward to leaving the jungles, their home for the past 52 years. The FARC has insisted that even as it disarms, it's not giving up on its dreams of taking power and turning Colombia into a Marxist-Leninist state. We will keep trying for our goal of governing Colombia. The FARC's biggest worry is that the government will not hold up its end of the bargain and will not take down the guerrillas' old foes, the illegal far-right paramilitaries. If there is a slaughter of unarmed guerrillas, the FARC warns it could be forced back into the jungles. We won't have any choice but to organize ourselves and rearm. 